And we are back, baby. We are out in the sun yet again. Um, I thought I'd do a podcast outdoors because the weather's so nice. It's been nice since Easter, really. Um, and I'm quite lucky because my uh, parents are away, so I've got free house. Um, and uh, no, I'm, I've, I've got. Wow, is that a wasp? That's a huge wasp on the floor. I think it's dying, but. Um, in other in other news, um, my parents are in Rome. They're checking for like the best hotels for me to go to and accessi- I always get that word, accessibility around Rome. And I'm gonna make a whole vlog about um, you know my view as a disabled person going on a holiday to Rome and getting to see all the sites that Rome has to offer. You know, Colosseum. Uh, f- the Forum, many other like Roman ruins and that. Um, sorry, I'm just distracted by a giant wasp that's on the floor crawling around, poor thing. Don't know anyone's ever felt sem- sympathy for a wasp. But yeah. No, so I want to do this... <laughs> um, that's a brilliant segue. But I want to do a vlog like all about Rome and... Ex- like a good vlog, not just one around just drunk and eating pizza the whole time. Like when I go to Italy in the summer. I want to do something more informal. Not, uh, not informal. Informal is a completely wrong word. Um, informative. Uh, I want to actually, you know, make, make a thing of that and do it more often the more I travel. And I've kind of done it in the past, but not really gone all the way with it. Like, not really bothered that much. Just talked about my own holiday. But I want to do something that will give other people you know, advice and an idea if a certain place like Rome is is good for travelling to, um, if they need accessibility and, uh, you know, a decent hotel with a room for a wheel that a wheelchair will fit in and it's got all the accessibility you need and the best way to get around Rome. So I'm going to try and figure that out. Um, I mean, my parents have gone to Rome just to see how it is for me, but I was willing just to go and risk it. Like, that's the way I am with some things, but sadly that's not always the best outcome financially or for the enjoyment of a holiday. Like, we're not going to enjoy the holiday if we go there and I'm stuck and I can't get around. Um, and it's quite bumpy and everyone's like worried about, oh, it's going to be too bumpy for you. Like, who cares? Like, I mean, for those of, you, those of you who've seen my... Someone's alarm is going off and there's a police siren. Right, what do you want? I live in London. It's crime here. But no, my parents are like, oh, it's going to be too bumpy. Who cares? I just wing it. Just uh, go with the flow. Like, I'm not, I don't like planning stuff too much. Yeah. Um, failure to prepare is preparing to fail, but I just want to go for it, you know. I just want to, want to be back to normal. Um, but one place I will say is brilliant for accessibility is Barcelona. I've been to Barcelona and that was that was top. Like you could get on the bus, no problems, no worries. Um, you could get around all the touristy places. I went to a match in the stadium. Uh, that area is a bit run down where the stadium is. Like, but yeah, in terms of getting around, that was all right. Rome's an older city, yeah, more cobbled streets than that. But I'm sure there's pedestrian bits like that are flatter and also not so bumpy that all the bolts fall off my chair. Like, we'll see. It is a ten-year-old chair, like, if it don't fall apart... now. Nah, when is it? No. It won't fall apart, it's made in Sweden. Um, so... Yeah, it's just if my battery lasts. Because, when I got it this brand new, like, one charger battery could do, you know, 25, 24 miles. Something like that, apparently. Um, not per hour, but... <laughs> As in, I could drive for 25 miles, so I could basically do a London Marathon. Not not running it, of course, but you know what I mean. A lot of wasps out here today, guys. If I get attacked by a wasp, just... yeah. Well, you'll be you'll be in hysterics. I know it. 
but I'm not wearing any aftershave today, so that won't that wasp won't attack me. Um, but yeah, enjoying the freedom. Um, whenever they go away, it's quite fun for me and my brother. But they always go away on like a during the week when like you know we're all kind of busy. Um, if it was like they left on a Thursday or a Friday, the weekend would be mad here. Not to say we haven't had fun as it is, me and my brother, but you know, um, good times. And the weather's not too bad. Um, if the sun goes in, I'm a bit chilly. I'll be honest, you know, it's not much of me, is there? So basically, like I was saying before the camera went off, I um, I, I downloaded Disney Plus mainly to watch Moon Knight. Uh, that new uh, Marvel superhero psychological kind of thriller slash fantasy whatever you want to call it show with Oscar Isaac I started watching that he is a top actor he was actually um, in Star Wars which I'll get onto in a minute and I'll talk about the other reason why I downloaded Disney Plus but yeah Moon Knight um, only four episodes so far I don't know if they're doing more straight away or what or how they're doing that but I keep seeing the TikToks and that convinced me to watch it um, and that song's in my head now from the, the, the beginning episode um, but apart from that I downloaded Disney Plus um, so I could watch Mandalorian which I've been recommended by everyone that likes Star Wars I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan I'm not a huge Star Wars fan you know um, like I don't have posters on my wall but I've seen all the movies and I must say Mandalorian I've enjoyed it more I'm on episode 8 first season I've enjoyed it more than the whole of the Star Wars like movies in the last 10 years since Adam Driver and Boyega turned up and Daisy Ridley all top actors um, I've probably got a slight crush on Daisy Ridley who hasn't? Who hasn't? Um, but all those actors, like, top actors, but, um, like, Mandalorian is full of action. Every episode, I thought it'd be a lot slower. Like, um, but it's not. And Mandalorian, if you must know, is that thing about that, um, that baby version of Yoda, but it's not Yoda. It's the same kind of species. And it's got the force and that. But it's not Yoda. Um, that's what everyone, I, like, I was seeing it and saying, oh, that's Baby Yoda. It's not. Um, so, yeah. That's the point I'm at with that. And I, I've got to say, like, a lot more exciting than half the bloody movies. I, I strongly recommend it. I don't know about Boba Fett so much, but there's been so many spin-offs, like the movies they've done, the Han Solo movie. That was terrible. Um, you know, even the final part of the the latest ones was like a bit of a letdown, and you can hear that plane that's disturbing my video now. But no, um, I might get rid of Netflix. That's kind of the reason behind getting Disney Plus. I want to test it out, see if I like it, and then I might swap over fully because Netflix is going up in price. And other people have got to, um, the people you share the account with, they've got to pay like two quid. Depends if everyone wants to do that. And probably why a lot of people are leaving Disney. Not Disney, I mean Netflix. I mean, there's, there's so many other platforms that you can, um, can stream from. There's too many. My brother got, got Amazon, so I'll watch that through him. You know, Netflix. Over the years I've had Netflix, deleted it, got it again, and so on. Um, I don't know, it's just like one of them things. It was a lot cheaper at the beginning, and Netflix wasn't really so popular at the beginning. And now it is they're increasing their prices. It's quite funny, really. But everything's going up in price now. And I'm sure some of you are struggling more than others. 
or count in, like, you know, count in your money. Like, after you've paid all your bills, like, the amount of money you've got to spend is less. And a lot of people are saying that. Uh, of all different um, jobs, you know. People on all different levels seem to be saying the same thing. Well, apart from the mega rich, or politicians who don't pay tax. There's a lot of them. But I try not to worry about this every day. I mean, you should be angry that they're not paying tax and you are. You know, us, us good citizens, with the effort we go through, break our backs for, like, a government that doesn't even care. Or, like, for a country that's in a mess right now. Like, well, we're working so hard, paying tax to a government that don't pay tax. Right guys, so the camera went off again. I'm not sure exactly where it went off. Like, once I noticed it was, you know, I don't know how long it stopped for. Um, but yeah, the camera is being a bitch today. Um, but the other, the other thing I've been following closely is the, uh, the Johnny Depp trial with Amber Heard. I mean, there's proof that she did go to the bathroom on his bed. There's proof. And I've seen a whole discussion in the court case, like, I don't want to get into details about who, um, you know, emptied their bowels on whose bed. But it, it wasn't, like, she, um, she blamed it on his dogs who were like corgis or something, who were like four pounds in weight. Like how are they going to take a dump that big on your bed? I mean, I feel sorry for him going, they're both, I mean, did they both bring it on themselves? Like, well, it's more her that's like being stupid and prove like, just like, she's acting like the bloke in this sense, doing all the stupid stuff, not letting the other person leave. Like he just wants to leave her, he wanted to leave her the whole time because she was beating him up. And yeah, he's, he was a drug addict and going through rehab and all this and like trying to get off the drugs and the, the, the alcohol. And he's got his problems, but he said it's not in his nature to fight people, to like take things to a physical violence level when it comes to another person, unless they're attacking him. But like, that that's kind of most people. Um, but she's like, spreading lies and like saying that he's been hitting her and there was even time when she was like on the phone to someone and like making up that he was hitting her and there's so much going on in this case that like, I can't talk about it all but like just feel sorry for the guy like yeah maybe he's been on drugs but like at least you get caught it's not really a crime like, you're like you're allowed to make mistakes in life as long as the alcoholic is not all their fault, or whatever it is, it's not all his fault, is it? I mean, probably the job. Like Hollywood, you know. And if it weren't for Nicolas Cage recommending that he took up acting, Johnny Depp would only be a singer on his band, the Vampires of Hollywood, or whatever they're called. That bird's trying to get in at my pocket. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> like, there's a lot of birds in the trees making bare noise now. But I'm not going to go out and shoot birds in trees. I'm not vibing either, guys. But yeah, guys, I mean, Johnny Depp, like, Jack Sparrow, like, like my childhood, like, without that, wouldn't be what it was, I don't think. The amount of banter from those movies, me and my brother still have, like, on a daily basis lines that we use every day. Things actually learned from that movie that actually probably helped in life. Like when he says a famous line, you can always trust a dishonest man to be dishonest. It's the honest ones you've got to be careful about. I, I, I don't know, but you know what I mean? Like honest people, you don't know what what's going on. Well, you do. That's the problem. They're going to speak their mind. Dishonest people, you know they're going to be dishonest, because it's what they are. But you, you get the idea, like, and that helps a lot in life. 
But me, what am I? I'm probably an honest person. So I'm dangerous. I don't know, but anyway, just a great movie. Great series, uh, not, um, great franchise of movies. Also Disney, who won't hire him anymore. And yeah, he got dropped from the, um, well, I don't know if they won't hire him anymore, but Depp did say he doesn't want to do Pirates of the Caribbean anymore. Which is fair enough, I mean, you don't want to be labelled by one character. But he's not, to me, he's, uh, you know, Edward Scissorhands or um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Or, you know, there's so many movies he's done. Or Donnie Brasco. Um, a Johnny Depp movie you have to see is probably Rum Diary, like, if you haven't seen that. He's not, is he, the, I mean, he is the main character. Or Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, which is quite an old film that you probably know nothing about. But yeah, Johnny Depp is one of my favourite. Considering he's not won an Oscar, like, you know, he's still a legend, man. I mean, I'm kind of modelling my facial hair after him. You know, I've always, I don't, I don't know, I just like his style. Um, I mean, this Amber Heard stuff, like, didn't know he was going through all of that. I know he's always been going through stuff, but like, to that level, nah. Didn't know she was that kind of person. She also did the same to Elon Musk, apparently, when they were dating or whatever. I don't know how true that is, but half of these are just rumours, but no, I mean, he's lucky he got out of that toxic relationship. And so many people fall in that trap. And at the beginning, it's lovely, you don't know what's going on. You know, it's fine, everything's fine, until it's not. Um, I mean, not to say it can not be fine in the relationship and turn out okay. In the end, you can rescue it, but there was no rescue in there. Like, she was just, I don't know, like grasping at straws. And, it, uh, I don't know. He did the right thing. But normally it's, not to be sexist, but like, it's normally the man that gets blamed. And like the man that's being the idiot and the immature one. But she, in half the recording, she just sounds like a little spoiled brat um, when daddy doesn't buy her what she wants. That kind of daddy issues thing that is bad for men like him. Um, and of course, men like him are always going to pick younger women. Like, it's just how it, like DiCaprio. They're never over 25 or 21 or whatever. Like, they like their young women, like, and that's not always going to be best. Not always going to work out. I mean, anything in Hollywood doesn't like. It's never. It's always fake. In that sense, because they are actors. She is an actor. And she. I don't know. I mean, he is obviously, but like she was beating him up, like. And some people are looking down on him, like. Can't. I mean, maybe maybe other men. It's wrong to say that they'd be like, oh. Can you defend yourself? But the minute it turns the other way and it becomes a man hitting a woman, then the man deserves to go to prison and that's it. And they end up in prison. But it's the other way around it. And in society, you know, you might be like, oh, it's a man. Good, you can take, I mean, even that's sexist, but like, some women will be like, good. Good for her to beat him up, like. But there's a level, no. Some very small amount of people might have thought that at the beginning. Like when it started out, her being the woman, people probably took her side. And like, were like, oh, what's wrong with her? Took her, oh, that's, that wasp was a bit close. I was about to scream. But you know, like, at the beginning, people thought maybe he wa was guilty of what she was saying. But the more we've gone into it, now, nah, it's twisted and like, she's the one looking like the evil one. And she probably is. I can't say 100% for certain that it was all her, because it wasn't. Like, it's both ways a relationship. It's like Chris Rock says, 
takes two people to move a couch. Like one person could not move a couch into another room. What in the living like whatever room. You can't move a couch. Like you need two people. You need a counterweight. Or like someone to lift the other end. It's a two way job. <laughs> and um sometimes you gotta, you know like Chris Rock says, you've got to be it's like being in a band. And sometimes you've got to play tambourine. <laughs> Whether that makes any sense to what we're talking about. But no, I respect the guy and uh big fan. But even so, like she like, I'm saying she's acting like the immature one. You know, and half the time it's normally the men that are messing up the relationships and doing stuff like and like being violent or whatever it is. There's been a lot of like everything's about violence this year. The Will Smith thing, the war, well there's always war, but like and this, it's all about violence. It's a world it's quite a violent world. But like there is good people in it. Yeah, there's a lot of good people, a lot of bad people. But it balances out, like if there weren't there wouldn't be good people if there weren't bad people. There wouldn't be bad people if there weren't good people. I don't know. Does that make any sense? Like, for there to be good, there has to be bad. There's no, nothing, nothing to compare it to otherwise. It's got to be a balance. That bird in that tree is really annoying. But yay, the sun's out again. Yeah, it's got to be a balance. And, um, yeah. Johnny Depp, uh, for all his flaws, he's a good guy. And he said it's not in his character to hit people. You know? I'll happily run someone over. Done it before. I'll do it again, gladly. And it's not always accidental. Um, ran over my school head of year once. And that wasn't on purpose. But it felt good. And God, after, like, was I... Like a hero for that. Brilliant. It was like, oh, did you do it on purpose? No. I mean, I said no, but who knows? However honest I am, you don't really know. Um, looks like it's going to rain over there. Over there, it's blue. But yeah, so I want to vlog when I go to Rome, if we still go. If my parents come back moaning, like, oh, there's no point. Well, I'm still going. Screw it, I'm gonna risk it. You know, I don't care. And, you know, having a bit of building work done at home soon. We'll be getting the kitchen redone. Not do you really need to know that? Um, no, but it means I'll be out here more. Be cooking at the barbecue, ordering takeaways. I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo, streaming a fair bit. Um, on Twitch, made quite a lot of TikToks out of my YouTube content, like condensed it into little videos and clips, which I'll probably do from this podcast, like cut up little bits and put them into TikToks. Um, and I'm getting a lot of views. The more hashtags you put, the more views you get as well. But yeah, and then I can get people over from TikTok onto my YouTube and vice versa. And I'm convinced it's working. But like, so many people these days, like they've got their main thing, but they've always got a side hustle. Like, I've had so many attempts at those in the past. Like me and my friend were making beer once. The merch for my, this channel that, that was pre, what was pre-Covid. Might involve eBay, I used to use eBay a lot. Same with my old video games, I've got so many. But like, with the postage and that, it's not always worth it, depends what you're selling. Like, I might just sell, like, I could sell old clothes or shoes. I've got decent pairs of shoes that I haven't worn that much that I could sell. Would I sell my Jordans? No, because of their, like, value to me personally. And their Jordans. Is money more important than 
actual Jordans, actually having Jordans. I can make more money and buy more. But yeah, there's I've got so many shoes I could sell. Not old clothes, but like clothes I don't wear. I don't know, do, does that do well these days? Jump in the comments if you reckon it's a good idea. Or you got any ideas for side hustles, side businesses or whatever you call them. Um, you know, to do on the side. Um, if someone just comments, drug dealer, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm staying within the law, guys. I mean, I could easily traffic drugs. Or whatever it is. Just hide it in my chair somewhere. Inside the cushion, you know. It's always my medicinal cocaine. No. That wouldn't work. Medicinal. Well, you could say that for weed, but like... Yeah, I'm cutting this bit out of the podcast. I don't know if I'm going to get banned. Who cares? Cancel me. I really don't care. Okay, guys. Um, Is that a pigeon? I can hear a pigeon, guys. But anyway, that is the end of the video. I want to thank you guys for watching. It's been fun. It's been inspirational, I hope. Um, it's been fun for me, anyway. But, yeah, take it easy, guys. Peace.